Jennifer Nicoli, fitness expert, author, and lifestyle consultant, and welcome to my home. And I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite recipes that I practically eat probably every week. And you actually can get the recipe at fitnessmodelprogram.com, which is a program that shows you how to look like a fitness model without having to be one. It's got all my great workouts, diet tips, a complete program that's going to help you achieve your fitness goals. Now, I just whipped up my fitness model fajitas. It's lean chicken, simple, easy. You crack out your George Foreman grill, or you grill it outside, or you actually can buy, if you're short on time, you can buy pre-packaged grilled chicken in your grocery store, which I do sometimes. And very importantly, who said you can't have carbs? My tortillas are low carb though, and they're all the taste. So make sure you look for a low carb tortilla. Okay, great. Let's get to our avocados. As everyone knows, you need healthy fats in to get bad fat off, and that's what you're able to get in an avocado. An avocado is high in monounsaturated fats. What is that? It's fat that you get from a vegetable, and it actually has been clinically proven to lower LDL cholesterol, which is bad cholesterol. So make sure you at least have an avocado a week, and this is a great recipe to get your, your essential fatty acids in as well. It's also rich in vitamin K. What does vitamin K do, you ask? Vitamin K aids in blood clotting. Also, an avocado is higher in potassium than one medium banana. So you see all the health benefits, and it's got all the taste. So, how do you also pick out an avocado? That's another question a lot of people ask me, Jana. How do you know if it's a ripe one? You want to pick out an avocado, and you want to feel it. You don't want it too hard, and you don't want it too soft. So make sure it's got a little bit of a give and take to it. Also, you see this little cute belly button on avocado? It's actually where the stem used to be. I call it the belly button. But you want to lift it up and peel it off. If it's brown, don't buy it. If it's green like this one, it's ripe and ready to go. How do you cut an avocado? Great question. You just want to slice it down the middle, give it a good little slice there in half, okay? And then you're going to just give it a twist like you're twisting an Oreo and it opens up very easy. You want to take your fork or spoon, whatever you have handy, scoop out all the fleshy part of the avocado. Look how great that looks, and it smells delicious. Let it just go right in there. Same thing with this one. This one has the pit. Don't worry about it. First, scoop it out. The pit is something that you can go in and back and get out, okay? There you go. Simple, right? You want to take tomatoes, Again, if you're short on time and long on hunger and you want to get your recipe done quick, go ahead and buy them pre-diced. I, again, don't have time to julienne vegetables, mince, dice, so you can get it already done. Pour that in there. Looks delicious. Smells great. Okay. You want to add a squeeze of lemon. So take your fresh lemon, give it a good little rub, if you will. Slice it down the middle. And you want to make sure you just squeeze it right in there, getting as much juice as you can. It smells so good. Can't wait to put it with my fajitas. All right, delicious. Now, you just want to stir it up, mash it up, and there you go. It's delicious as a condiment. You can also serve it at a party with low-carb whole grain tortilla chips. For more recipes and diet tips, visit me 